Good morning. For this morning's devotions, I'll be using another children's book. This time it's a little board book called The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown, pictures by Clement Hurd. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said, the mo said his mother, I will become a fisherman and I will fish for you. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. Shucks, said the bunny, I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. The end. 
You know, this book reminds me of two things. Firstly, the story of Jonah from the Bible, where Jonah tries to run from God, run from being who he's supposed to be and not be the person that God wants him to be and calls him to be. Yet God pursues him across the waves and and into the place where he's meant to be. And so it's a reminder, this story, it's a reminder of that story too, that you don't have to, you can't run, you can't hide from God, that when God asks you to be who you are, then he will pursue you, he will seek you, he will find you, and he will continue to do that until you're prepared to be who he wants you to be. The little bunny in this story wanted to get away, wanted to hide, yet his mother pursued him just as God pursues us. This also reminds me of these verses from Psalm 139, verses 7 to 14. Where could I go to escape from your spirit or from your sight? If I were to climb up to the highest heavens, you would be there. If I were to dig down to the world of the dead, you would also be there. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew across the ocean. Even then your powerful arm would guide and protect me. Or suppose I said I'll hide in the dark until night comes to cover me over. But you see in the dark because daylight and dark are all the same to you. You are the one who put me together inside my mother's body and I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvellous. Of this I have no doubt. Let us pray. Lord, as we come today and we think about the words not only of our children's story today but the story of Jonah and the words from the psalm, we are reminded that you have put us together, that you have created us with a purpose and that we cannot run away from you for you will pursue us and love us to the very end, that you will ask us to be the person you put together, the person you created. Lord, help us to have no doubt of how marvellous you are, all that you want the best for us. We ask this in your holy name. Amen.